Welcome back. Now, in 2020, we spent a lot of time trapped indoors. Some wishing they were with someone, others wishing they were with someone else. Which is probably why there's a renewed interest in dating shows. Now, when I was growing up, dating shows were three shop assistants, a helpful reminder from our Graham, and Scylla going, ooh, at anyone who had any form of qualification. <laughs> now, though, we've got this radical new idea from Netflix. I've met the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. I've never seen her before. Here, you will choose someone to marry. Hello. Nice to hear from you. Okay. Can't say see ya. Without ever seeing her. It's called Love is Blind, and here's the idea. Couples spend 10 days rotating in and out of boxes like Randy Pigeons, talking to but not seeing one another. So they don't know, for example, if the guy on the other side of the wall has hair all over his face. And then this happens. So there we are. He did have hair all over his face, and it was ginger. <laughs> but despite this, Damien and Janina, for that is their names, went on to a ceremony in front of their friends and relations and a vicar to actually get married. Do you take Giannina Milady Jabelli to be your lawful wedded wife? I do not. <laughs> How devastating that must be for the poor girl. Rejected at the altar. But don't worry about Giannina too much because she had her mum on hand to offer some warm words of reassurance. Though by warm words of reassurance, what I actually mean is cold cow pat of reality. Everything is shit. <laughs> Sounds like a Morrissey album. <laughs> Funny thing is, though, that of the 30 couples who took part in that show, two really did get married. And next year, they'll be appearing in a new show called Make Your Divorce Lawyer Rich. <laughs> um, the Germans have a much simpler approach to uh, dating and choosing a life partner, as they demonstrated with this exciting new show. Zwei Männer. Sieben Milfs. Sieben Missis. Und die eine große Frage. Hier bei Milf oder Missy. I'm not sure you need to speak German to know what that means. <laughs> but to make sure, I went online and after four hours of vigorous research, I discovered that Milf in German means exactly the same as it does in English. <laughs> Probably the most outlandish new dating show is Labour of Love, which is hosted by the Sex and the City actress you can't remember, the one who isn't Sarah Jessica Parker or Kim Cattrall or the ginger one. <laughs> anyway, there's this one woman, OK, and then there are 15 men, and the winner of the 15 men gets to have a baby with the woman. Not sex, an actual baby. So they all meet up in a house with plastic pillars, ready for what they thought would be an informal meet and greet. Part of this process is figuring out if you're all fit enough to be fathers. I mean that in the most literal sense possible. Waiters, please come in. <laughs> Yo, the ruthless. Oh, my goodness. Yo. Mobile collection center. There's no way to make this less awkward. I suggest we just get right to the task. <laughs> no, no, no. Nothing says love more than 15 men in a car park pleasuring themselves in the back of an articulated lorry. 